this video unfortunately i gotta break the news to you that these women are still out here losing their freaking minds regarding men using their passport to go overseas they just hate to see men exercising better options this just goes to show that the passport men movement is probably one of the greatest movements in history i'm not gonna waste your time let's get into it okay y'all i'm gonna try to make this fast but i just found out what passport boys this is the stupidest shit ever and so if it's something that you definitely call stupid why would you make a video about it so i found out from tiktok so i ran the tiktok i did not pass go so y'all can get my unfiltered response um this is the stupidest shit ever y'all done made tiktok pages let me explain to y'all. Let me explain to the people that don't know what passport boys. I'm about to air y'all out. Get ready. Uh, put your coat on. I'm about to air y'all. So what? I really ain't even take this all the way in yet. So y'all go into another country to find an easier woman because black women are hard to deal with. We want money. We're tired, and we're disrespectful apparently, right? So you go to another country to find an easier woman that needs your money, that needs your passport, that needs your green card. Of course, she's nicer to you. And then she gets over here. She's treated better because immigrants are already, they have way more rights. People are more friendly. People are more friendly to lighter skinned people, mind you. So she's getting a better treatment over here in America than we, than our moms got, than our grandmothers got. Like, of course we're fucking angry we're struggling with our credit nobody taught us we're all over here struggling we could actually be helping each other but y'all done made a tiktok page talking shit about us mind you y'all actually had me to a, to the extent of talking shit because if a rich italian man comes sweep me off my feet right now bye see you bye but one thing i'm not finna do is talk shit about my black kings on my way out i'm not why would I do that when I know that we're all struggling together? When I see y'all and when I see that the black woman is the most disrespected person on this earth, I really don't understand what gives y'all, you know what? Y'all deserve a woman that's gonna look 50 when she's 32. Go ahead. So I know a lot of you guys may say these videos are low vibrational, but I gotta make them and that's what I do. But a lot of these women don't realize the more they rant about the movement, the more they advertise it. So other guys will probably hear about it before it's too late. And guys, you gotta be able to peep game. Do you see how she brought up the fact that she want to date an Italian rich man? The root of this is she is upset that black men are taking all of their resources overseas and giving it to those other women. You heard her talking about how, oh, we in this together, we struggling, we, you should be with me. We come up together. No. You missed out on that opportunity, but she's mostly upset that these men are taking their dollars and their resources overseas, letting other women reap the benefits of his hard work. So I wanted to give my take on the passport boys, AKA these men that are leaving the country to find their wives or to find women that they feel like are more traditional than American women. First comment, get a fucking grip. Like, are you guys really being fucking for real the fact of the matter is the average woman does not even require that much but the average man is not willing to even do the bare minimum to get and keep a woman as a woman in america why in 2022 would i settle for a man that expects me to basically be a slave and maid in america america so I, I mean, I see why y'all got to go overseas to sell the to other women. But another thing you're missing and point you're missing is you need money. Y'all think foreign women are cheaper or something? Or like you think it's not going to cost money to bring a woman over here, make her a citizen, get her acclimated to this culture. Like it's going to take time, energy and money that y'all can't even give to women that live here in your own culture. Just make it make sense because you guys are delusional. It's giving you need to be in a mental health facility. Because instead of being introspective and looking at your actions, what you're doing that's maybe not working out in your favor, um, y'all would rather like 
go to another country and just continue the toxicity on different women in different cultures. You think they're not going to call your bluff or figure out that you're full of shit? It's like y'all think foreign women are dumber or something. Like y'all think they won't have standards because even if a woman wants to be a traditional woman, that doesn't mean she's going to put up with your bullshit. <laughs> That's the part that these men are overlooking. They're like, oh, I'm going to get a woman that's traditional. Plenty of women in America want to be traditional wives. They want to stay home and take care of their kids. They want their husbands to be providers. But within that, they also want faithfulness. They also want men who are focused on God and not the streets and not women on their Instagram. Like, be fucking for real. I know it's hard to accept the fact that the problem might actually be you, but running away from the problem to try to go to a different country to bring a woman over is not going to solve your problems. Like you guys are so desperate. It's, it's giving desperate. It's not that American women are harder to do. American women have standards that are rightfully fit for living in America in 2022. If y'all don't want that, very well, move to another country and get what you think you want. But I promise it's not what you want.